everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. If this is your first time watching, hi, I'm Leslie and so glad to have you here on my channel. I talk about all things luxury, in particular handbags, but also jewelry, I film unboxing videos, reviews, hauls, shopping vlogs and everything in between. So if that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So today's video is going to be all about this little cutie right here. This is the Longchamp Le Pliage Saint Tropez Tote in, yeah, like kind of a mini size. I think it's the only size that this particular style comes in. And yeah, I thought I'd give you a rundown of what fits inside, how you can wear it, and some tips and tricks that the SA actually told me about, considering it's an open tote. I mean, you do have a push button closure right here, and I, I want to say it's pretty sturdy and given that the general size of the bag is on the smaller side, it's quite difficult to have someone put their hand inside the bag and grab something without you noticing it. But still, if you are living in a bigger city or if you're around more crowded places, it's always nice to have a little more peace of mind with yeah, keeping your items as secure as possible, but I'll get to that. First off, let me quickly show you the bag up close. Um, it does come in a variety of different colors. This is yeah the regular brown color, cowhide leather um, handles, and the trim is also leather. The rest of the bag is kind of this like raffia looking material, but it's on the softer side. Maybe it's, I guess it's like linen, but just pressed. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm going to put a link to this bag and all the details, etc., in the description box below. And on the inside, okay, I have this like Longchamp card right here and a shoulder strap which is not adjustable but <laughs> apparently detachable. I'm gonna go over that in a couple of seconds but yeah on the inside it's lined which I appreciate and yeah it's in a white color and it has a tab right here with a super long serial number and instructions on how to clean or wash it. I'm really bad at deciphering these kind of machine washable, tumble dryer, whatever um, kind of sign language. As I said, they do come in a variety of different colors. They had a burgundy color, which a friend of mine got. They have a like light yellow color, orange, black, but I didn't, I mean, black is super classic, but I didn't really like the stark contrast of this like, yeah, raffia color against the black because not only the handles and the trim would be this color, but also the horse with the rider. And the black, in my opinion, looked a little too harsh against the um, yeah, lighter color body of the bag. They also come in a green color and I think that's the color range that they currently offer. And yeah, the hardware, pretty minimal, but the hardware that you do have on the back is gold, which I appreciate. And yeah, you have D rings right here to attach or detach the shoulder strap. And yeah, I just thought this bag was super cute for spring and summer, for like vacation looks, but also yeah, just walking through the city and yeah, with the bare essentials. I mean, I'm saying bare essentials, but for mini bag standards, this guy does fit quite a bit. I'm gonna show you what fits inside in a couple of seconds, but yeah, super cute. And if you're on Instagram and follow yeah, luxury related accounts, by the way, follow me on Instagram as well. It's Leslie Adina on there. I'm sure you will have come across this cutie on some accounts. Talking about price, I paid 150 for it, which I think is amazing. You do get some leather and yeah, in general, I've had really great experiences when it comes to Longchamp and their quality and how the bags hold up. I do have a couple of Le Pliage bags like the regular ones. I did film a like comparison and review video quite recently. I'm going to link to that in the description box below. I've been using Longchamp Le Pliage bags for work for ages and yeah, they're just amazing bags for work. But I figured I might as well add a little something that isn't like an out of necessity bag from Longchamp, but more on the like fun side. So yeah, super happy with this one. And yeah, as I said, it does come with a shoulder strap. I'm going to put the measurements in the description box below. And I'm also going to insert mod shots for reference. I'm 178, which I think is like 510. So on the taller side. I mean, for me, the strap length is perfect, both like just shoulder worn, but also cross body works for me. Um, if you're a lot smaller or like a lot taller, it might be a little too long or too short depending, but yeah, for me, it worked out perfectly. So yeah, let me show you what fits inside. I do have some items right here and I'm pretty sure most of the things that I have on here will actually fit. So phone, AirPods, a bulky ass um, 
Sunny's case and it does fit as well. I mean, it does take up quite a bit of room, but it fits without like distorting the shape of the bag, which is amazing. Card holder, this is my Pullen card holder that I got for my birthday from a friend of mine and pochette clay for like additional cards and some cash. Still a good amount of room left. I mean, if you want to still be able to close the push button, it's, I mean, I think we've reached capacity because you might be able to tell it does have some waving going on right here from closing the push button, but it's still okay, I'd say. And again, I mean, you have to try really hard to get inside there. Plus, I mean, at least now the way I pack this bag, I'm basically only hitting the um, Sunny's case when I try to grab inside the bag. So I guess it's pretty secure from that standpoint, but um, just <laughs> for giggles, I mean, if you wear a lighter colored um, raffia kind of style bag, you probably won't need an umbrella, but I mean, if push comes to shove, you might be able to just lay it on top there. Obviously you won't be able to yeah, close the push button. But I mean, just to give you an idea, the spec is small, but it definitely packs a punch. So <laughs> probably don't need an umbrella in spring and summer, or let's hope not. But yeah, super cute. And one thing I did want to show you is, um, yeah, I mentioned that the SA told us a little trick. She said, like, if you're worried about pickpocketing and stuff, you can just basically put a couple of your items in here and then just basically wrap it like a picnic um, sack and put it in the bag and just have the, um, the scarf hang out a little, which I think was such an easy idea basically. But yeah, super cute and such a fun way to incorporate a little more color. I mean, I chose a pretty neutral colored and like color matching scarf just for the purposes of this video, but you can definitely play around a little and looking at it at the viewfinder. So don't worry if I'm looking slightly above the camera, that's where my viewfinder is. It looks really cute. Yeah, love that. And um, it's a little more secure because you have your like belongings basically wrapped inside the scarf. So yeah, there's that. Super happy with this one. I haven't worn it out yet, but I'm definitely planning to. The sun is shining. Um, it's like mid April when I'm filming this. So yeah, really excited for spring and summer. Let me quickly show you what it looks like with the strap on. But as I said, I will have inserted mod shots so you get an idea of what it looks like on me. I think, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure that the leather strap will soften up over time, but it's not like super stiff to begin with. Actually quite malleable. So yeah, there's that. As I said, I'm able to wear it both like regular and also crossbody without like this bag sitting under my armpit basically. So yeah, again, this is called the Le Pliage saint tropez Tote. I don't really know if it's like a limited edition or something, but I guess if you're interested in this one, I think I took a look at the US Longchamp website and this particular colorway is currently sold out, but I'm sure you will be able to find it on Saks Fifth Avenue or like Neiman Marcus and all those fun department stores that you have um, on the German uh, Longchamp website. I think every single color was in stock, but even if it happens to be sold out, Longchamp is carried at a bunch of different department stores and online shops. So I'm sure you'll be able to find it. And yeah, let me know what you think about this bag. Do you own this bag? What are your general thoughts about raffia bags? I mean, I'm not really that much of a fan of like full on big raffia bags, for example, the Celine one or I mean, the Loewe one looks pretty cute, I have to admit. Like I'm talking about the really big um, raffia totes um, for like the beach and stuff. They do look nice, but um, I think they are not lined on the inside. This one, as I mentioned, is lined, which I like. Uh, so you don't have the like roughness of the raffia. Plus, I, as I said, this isn't real raffia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, before I ramble on any further, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. That would really help me out a lot. And also consider subscribing to my channel. I post every Wednesday all about luxury handbags, hauls, shopping vlogs, and everything in between. Sometimes if I'm feeling adventurous, I sprinkle in a little bit of fashion content, but I'm not the most fashionable person out there. I'm trying my best to not only wear black and gray, so far it's going quite well. And I mean, with spring and summer around the corner, I'm definitely a little more adventurous when it comes to colors. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoy 
fashion and luxury related videos, please stick around and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye.